Hi guys, it's EP review time. Before we get onto the EP, I just want to give a massive shout out to the band. And I will be doing this a lot today. I've just been sent through the amazing t-shirt from Invasion, the Norwegian metal band, rock and metal band. Sent me this through. They also sent me a sticker and they sent me my new work mug. I'll be drinking with pride. Thank you, Invasion. Really means a lot. Any band send me stuff. It's just amazing. It really is. So that came through the post this week. Blown away, guys. Thank you very much. So big red fire truck trouble in paradise. Like I said, this is an EP, six tracks. I've actually covered three of the tracks on reactions. Been blown away by them. This is an Australian hard rock band, guitar driven band. They've cited their influences as Van Halen, Bon Jovi, Aerosmith, Crazy Licks, amongst others. Um, I can hear some ACDC influence in there, especially in some of the riffing. This band got together in 2016 and their aim, it says, was to write fun metal hard rock songs, paying homage to previous generations of hard rock while delivering their own distinctive character. I mean, they summed it up perfectly. Yes, they're taking influence. Of course they are, like many bands do. But they're, you know, they've got a real rocking attitude of their own. Amazing band. And apparently they're an amazing band live as well. So if I ever get to, if they ever come from Australia all the way here, I would definitely check them out. It'd have to be quite near me though. I live in the sticks away from anywhere. But um, I would definitely check them out for sure. So six tracks to talk about. I'm going to talk about all of them. We uh, start off the album with Neon Sunsets, which is just like a little intro, minute, nearly two minutes long. It builds you up with a sort of Stranger Things type synth feel. It's brilliant because it just sets you up and it goes into the excellent single, Trouble in Paradise. Cause it's trouble, trouble in paradise. As we bask in the sunset and the sun. Loved this song, loved it when it came out. Absolutely blown away by it now. It's a brilliant, rocking, groove-laden, hard rock song. Gorgeous vocal harmonies as well back up this band. I mean, man, they're rocking, but they got some, they, they know they take that more 80s influence with all the great backing vocals we've got. Such an important part of this band. An infectious chorus as well. It's really fun stuff as well, and I mean, I don't know if I've had as much fun listening to an EP or an album as much as I have in this, and I'm going to get onto more of that later, but this is so much fun, this song as well. But at the same time, they've sort of got these guitar melodies that almost have a melancholy feel to them. A brilliant track. I love this one. It's a rocking start to an excellent EP. Then we move on to Love Bite. Take me down, knock me out, help me wipe out all the doubt. One more chance just to make it to the top. This was another single. I covered this one as well. And it's definitely party time. Here we go. Man, this is so much fun, this song. Grab your beers and the barbecue. Head to the beach because the fun starts here. It really spreads a smile on your face, this song. It really does. Um, there's a cool sort of boogie sort of feel to this track, but it still has that really cool 80s style and melody as well. Then we move on to Psychotropic Thunder. Another single, the latest single, a standout track for me, I think, this one. It's crunchy guitar work in this one. They lead to a monster of a chorus. I can imagine this one is uh, almost like on a soundtrack or something, maybe like a comedy horror, and you can imagine the title tracks coming up and this song playing. I don't know why I thought of that, but it, that's what it sounds like to me. Really rocking, really fun again. A great track. Miami Skies is next again. Such fun listening to this song, this time with a sort of little punky sort of attitude. If you're still on the beach at this point with your mates, it's another perfect summer track, it really is. The guys really are great at sort of writing uplifting, infectious melodies, they really are. Um, it doesn't get much more fun than this until we hit the last track, of course. And here we are, the last track, I love it. It's called Hot Summer Nights. The title says it all. I might be passed out this, by this time on the beach to teacher if I can't really handle my drink, but um, this song is just perfect for those people that are still around on the beach. Perfect beach vibes, it really is. Probably the standout track for me in an EP that is packed with highlights. 
if we lived in a different time, this would be the song that would make this band massive. It really would. This would be a definite hit. Infectious, hooky, and so much fun to listen to. It really is. It's brilliant stuff. I haven't actually said the guys' names in the band. I think I have before in some um, in some other videos, but. I should take advantage of that because they're so easy to say. <laughs> so because I usually have trouble pronouncing names, Digby on the guitar and lead vocals is what an amazing talent, what an amazing guitarist and vocalist. Ben Frank on the guitar, just alongside Digby, there's loads of dueling guitar stuff going on. Pete Grant on the drums and Nick Fraser on the bass to provide a brilliant rhythm section. It's pounding, it's really groove laden. I love it. Big Red Fire Truck, Trouble in Paradise, EP coming out, six tracks, guys. They're all brilliant. It's coming out on the 4th of August. It hits hard, it's quick, it's gone out of there, and it stays there. That's the main thing. Guys, let me know what you think. Are you going to get this? Please support the band. Put it in the comments below, guys. I'll see you soon.